out. It's where the ski pass would be if your car had a factory ski pass. So it's a little tidbit while you're putting your iPod kit in. And here's that grommet we were looking for earlier. So let me grab the cable real quick, bring it up here. And now I'm going to take our three and six pin connectors, the female versions. We're just going to push them through here. Or you can pull it out if you want. Now you can see the light probably coming through. So we just take those guys, push them back there just a few inches because there's plenty of length on those factory CD changer wires. And now we've got our wire successfully run into the trunk. So let's just join you back there real quick and show you a quick little tidbit I like to do so that the wire doesn't get pulled through any further. Or sometimes, actually, no, we'll just have you guys do it this way. Um, plug in only the six pin connector. Don't plug in the three pin connector. It's going to be the very last thing we do. So if you want, you could actually pull this all the way up through and keep the three and six pin connector under the back seat. So if you ever needed to reset the module or anything like that, you would have easier access to the plug. So you could just pull that through. All right, guys, so now that we've got the cable up here and everything's plugged in and we're going to kind of start our routing process uh, accordingly. Uh, I like to bring the cable kind of down. I'm, ordinarily, I bring it across this back wall. This car's kind of gross, so if you've bought a used car, it's gross. Uh, just bring it up here along this front edge. Kind of tuck it a little bit under this carpet. Just make it look pretty. Make sure you leave plenty of slack so nothing gets damaged. And then we're going to take... And there's a couple guys, some of you guys don't mind doing this, um, and I think we've actually filmed this process before. Um, the way I do it here, if I'm doing it at BSW, is I take... I just go up into the center console area. Um, I know we filmed that. I don't know that we've gotten it up on YouTube yet, but... Um, otherwise, if you're not going to go that way, straight up the console and take the console out, we're going to go right on over here to the passenger side and just go up to the behind the glove box, which is kind of the most common way we do it. Just keep in mind, we don't have to take anything apart at this point. It's all just, we're just tucking. You see, nothing needs to even come out. You just pry these up. Now, be careful. Don't, don't force this stuff, but there's plenty of room down here for what we need to do. You can see, we're just a little, little tuck right up between the panel and the carpet. Just using my fingers, no tools are even required. You can see, it's perfect. It's totally hidden. So we'll bring the cable on up here. And again, we're just tucking. There's another routing option if you so choose. You can see right here the carpet seams together right here. So you can take the cable down and under the seat that way. If you ever want to just bring the cable right out here or don't want to deal with taking the glove box out. A lot of options here. You guys are smart, you'll figure it out. But I just keep it simple, keep it all here behind the glove box. And now, we've got this all the way to the front of the car. I don't know what the total runtime is, but I'm going to guess it's about seven to eight minutes. So now we've got the cable all the way up here. We're going to obviously take the glove box out, and that's where we tend to mount our modules. Um, and that's it. So that covers getting the cable up to the front of the car. And, and from here, we're going to figure out where we want either our spec dock, which is the, the iPod dock we put in the ashtray, or if you've just opted for the cable, where you're going to route it here in the console. So let's pause here and, and join you back for getting the glove box out of the, out of the car. The glove box needs to come out for a couple of different reasons. Number one, we are going to be mounting either A, our iPod module back there, or B, our media bridge module back there. So we need room for it to, uh, to install. Uh, second of all, we're going to be routing the Bluetooth microphone from the console down here where it will plug in to the module and lastly we'll be bringing our cable that we've routed from the trunk to the front of the car and plugging that into the module as well so let's start with the glove box removal it's very straightforward it's held in by six Phillips head screws um, you really really can't goof this up it's it's so nice and easy so we pull these guys out pull our screws out the only thing I would warn you of is the glove box light right here uh, it gets very 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 hot uh, you will burn your finger if you touch it. There's no question about that. Um, so it's also good if you've... Uh, a lot of these glove boxes rattle from time to time, so even if you're just using this video for the process of removing your glove box, it will cover that for you. So get the screws out of here. They're hiding kind of behind the straps here on this side and the 
hydraulic arm on the other side. Get those so you don't lose them. And then we have one final screw here on the bottom. And the glove box is ready to come out. Now how we do that, we're going to take our hand, you can see there's a frame that the glove box attaches to. You're going to lift up and it's just going to kind of fall down. Now you can see here, there are a couple of little hooks, one here and one here. So you actually lift up and then out. That's how the glove box comes out. And when we're reinstalling it, we'll of course pay attention to that. So let's unplug our light here. And again, be very, very careful. It is very, very hot. So we're going to disconnect the flashlight here by unplugging it like so. So we'll have this harness nice and out of the way. And then with the glove box removed, I can show you guys back here, there are all kinds of little slots. And this is where our modules are going to live. Either, you know, can slot in here your serious module. If you're using a media bridge and you're also installing a serious module, it too can snap in back here. Your media bridge module can fit right here. Your serious can fit right here. A uh, standard dice module, Silverline Pro can fit right here. Your auxiliary input kit can fit here. Anything you need, plenty of room.